So, you want to pause? Your game. First up, let's talk about stopping our time scale, a quick and straightforward solution, especially for simpler games. With a simple use of the action, set the time scale of the scene to zero, you can instantly freeze your game and its tracks. Forces, platform behaviors, animations, you name it. If it's time dependent, it's paused. Next, we can utilize actions that aren't time dependent, like hide and show, to craft the pause menu and set position to navigate it. However, it's crucial to avoid moving anything that controls a camera, as this could lead to the camera losing its orientation within the game world. As your game becomes more complex, you'll need to expand your pause event with additional actions. This might include deactivating secondary cameras or certain behaviors while paused, and then reactivating them once the pause is completed. Let's dive into a small example and see how we can implement the pop-up menu with options to resume or quit the game. So, let's dive into our Roller Coaster Tycoon pathing event sheet and see how we can add a pause to our previous work. Here, I have an already working model of a timescale pause for this game. Let's talk about why this works. One time at the start, we hide all objects that have to do with our pause and change the opacity of our background to roughly 80%. Upon pressing P, we reveal these pause objects, simultaneously setting the timescale to zero and activating a global boolean called pause, effectively halting all in-game actions and presenting our pause menu to the player. While the global boolean is true and the up or down key is pressed, we simply swap the position of the selector object between our two pause menu options. Also, while the pause is true, pressing return selects the current option based on the cursor's location. 256 will hide our pause objects, swap our pause boolean back to false, and set our timescale back to 1. 384 will be for quitting the game, but we don't have a main menu, so for now it just restarts the scene. Now, let's explore an alternative approach pausing and starting a new scene. With this method, you can create an entirely new scene exclusively for a pause menu. When you trigger the pause, your current progress within the scene remains intact, seamlessly transitioning to the designated pause menu scene. Since we're not altering the time scale, any time-based mechanics remain functional while coding our pause scene. Upon completion, effortlessly return to the last save point within the game. Both the pause and return mechanics are built-in features that simply require a condition to activate, with the remaining work handled behind the scenes. Bonus! While within the pause scene, you can even pause and start a new scene a second time, effectively going two scenes deep. When resuming play, seamlessly return to the pause scene with one condition, and then back to the game without losing your place. As always, a huge thank you to my members. I appreciate the support and love. To all my viewers out there, I hope this video makes adding a pause scene as easy as one, two, 